my next upload today for the date that it is is with regard to the issue of a collective of um, individuals, repeat offenders, that damaged sacred light of my child and I between 2016 and 2019. Um, for those that have monetized from my light fragments and that have damaged the environment and wildlife and that have exploited my light fragments for financial gain, I would like to bring it to the attention of the relevant agencies that are concerned and that prioritise faith about the issues of my universal light body being uh, damaged and disrespected in Tralee. Now, as I've mentioned, there is treason occurring and my royal patronage of my maternal bloodline, O'Regan and O'Higgins and Fernand, French, French, Spanish uh, royalty um, is also an offence that is occurring. Um, so the issue of individuals that have taken ownership unlawfully of my light fragments from my light body and from my child that have used that um, gain for monetary and for the purpose it was not intended um, and that have caused abuses against the constitution and human rights um, are not lawfully permitted to monetize or gain financially from my light fragments that were damaged between 2016 and 2019. Uh, the bodily integrity damages have still continued, as I've mentioned remotely, and they weren't consented to, consented to and they are not lawful transactions or procedures. Um, they have no, the culprits have no safety order in place to safeguard them from damaging a human right to have my bodily integrity respected. They are not legally protected for damaging a human anatomy. Um, they are not entitled to financially exploit uh, my light fragments nor my child's light fragments for their intents and purposes. And in the past three years, those intents and purposes have damaged the environment, wildlife and privacy. Um, the matters that I've raised in my previous uploads with regard to the emergency care order that was implemented in January 2017, the falsification of information surrounding the unlawful separation of my child from my care that caused him trauma and that involved spiritual assault on a young baby and that is substantiated and that has been brought to the knowledge of the Ombudsman since 2017 and my contact with the relevant agencies to safeguard my son and to correct the unlawful care orders that were issued is a matter that still hasn't been resolved. So the issue of individuals in a collective that are causing displacement, defamation, disrespect and denigration and that are trespassing on my property and that are utilising my sacred light fragments for their gains are doing so unlawfully. Um, the United Nations, I hope, are aware the danger of the dangers regarding all violations of human rights I'm experiencing and also the dangers of these liabilities in society since 2006. I hope the United Nations is aware of the precious nature of my universal light body and the child I gave birth to on the 14th of the 10th, 2015. There is identity theft occurring and there are individuals exploiting light fragments and abusing faith, many faiths, since 2016. My body was damaged very severely when these individuals acquired my gifts, light and blessings. They have created a charade that has been disrespectful to the constitution 
and they have stolen vast amount of wealth yet again. I would appreciate the United Nations contacting me in Trulli, County Kerry. Light fragments from a universal light worker and these individuals damaging nature and wildlife and privacy and information are liable and are liabilities. The fraud that they have been conducting for the past 15 years is ongoing. So those that are making use of a Royal Universal Light Workers Light Fragments Gifts and Blessings are desecrating the Declaration and the Constitution. They are also of slander and defamation. My protection rights as a Royal have been disrespected. It's principles, not popularity. And these people aren't even popular in the fields that they've damaged. And they certainly aren't welcome in the fields of my ancestry. There's a child legally missing from his mother that has been traumatised because of these liabilities in society. They have set a bad example to young people and I have huge concerns about bad examples being set to young women. So as a humanitarian and a recovery advocate and as a universal light worker that has been damaged in Trulli County Kerry, experiencing threats of displacement to accommodate liabilities and frauds, I have a very huge concern for the future. My Homestead is in Tobernamult, Ardfert, as of 2015. I'm in social housing. I've experienced doctors disrespecting their Hippocratic Oath and perverting the course of justice. The debts I'm owed for my good work alone are gargantuous. And the estimated value of light fragments from my child and I is inestimable. So there's a church and state issue occurring in a democracy. And injustice, discrimination and inequality against a royal patron is absolutely abhorrent. So I hope the United Nations understands the weight of a burden I'm carrying since giving birth to my beautiful child that was cared for impeccably and immaculately except for the liabilities causing disturbances of the peace and stalking my privacy and damaging our health and well-being. Protection was not provided, anonymity was not respected and privacy wasn't respected. As a consequence, there have been casualties in Trulli County Kerry. And that's a script that's not easily rewritten.